Hello student, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we are, we are discussing in this lecture about decomposition reactions. Okay, in the previous lecture we have discussed about combination reaction, okay, and how to balance a chemical equation. All this in we have discussed in previous lectures. Okay, so now what is a decomposition reaction students? Let us take one example okay in which we are taking a 2 gram ferrous sulfate students if you want to do this experiment do this very carefully under the guidance of a teacher in the chemistry lab okay in dry boiling tube okay note the color of ferrous sulfate crystals okay second step is to heat the boiling tube heat the boiling tube over the flame of a burner over the flame of a burner okay or spirit lamp spirit lamp now observe the color of crystals after heating okay so when you see that the crystals of ferrous sulfate means this is ferrous sulfate on heating it gives fe2o3 plus so2 plus so3 gas okay so to balance this equation we can simply write 2 here okay now this oxygen uh, equation is balanced and I hope that you students now easily uh, can manage to balance the equation okay so this is ferrous sulfate this is ferric oxide so have you noticed the green color of the ferrous crystals has changed and you can also smell the characteristic odor of burning of sulfur okay in this reaction so you will observe that a single reactant breaks down into give simpler products so this is called as decomposition reactions and this is opposite to the combination reactions okay students where two or more reactants are combined to form a single product here one product is decomposing into two or three products okay ferrous sulfate crystals lose water when heated and the color of the crystal changes okay now it then uh, decomposes to ferric oxides and sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide as shown in the okay so these are the products and this is reactant so in decomposition reaction let me write it a single reactant breaks down to give simpler products ok students so now let us discuss one more example on decomposition reaction so student here is another example based on decomposition reaction in which this is exactly opposite to the example we discussed in combination reaction in which limestone is breaking down into quicklime and carbon dioxide so this is another example of a thermal decomposition reaction okay now let me give you some more example of lead nitrate so lead nitrate is PbNO3 2 okay it is decomposing into lead oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen and to balance the reaction I am simply writing here to balance the reaction this is 4NO2 plus O2 okay so this is a balanced reaction and a an example of decomposition reaction so students I hope 
that you guys are pretty clear about what is a decomposition reaction and what are combination reaction which we have discussed in previous lecture and if you have still any doubt or any question based on these type of reactions then students please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning